Oh, hi there. Hi there. Uh, we'll give you a hand. Uh, hand. Uh, you can still see the fingers moving a little bit for the tardive dyskinesia, but uh, very little. I mean, it was an amazing effect to go from the 24 milligram to the uh, 36 milligram. And and, and, and how, how do I get in the camera here? I had this problem the first time I tried this tonight. But uh, the backs of my hands, like, like here, are not sunken as much now on this 36 milligram dose. It was like it turned it on from the, where it was turned on to the wrist with the, the, the 24 milligram dose. But the 30 milligram, 6 milligram dose turned on the nerves into the fingers all the way down, all the way out. And, and it's like un underneath the uh, finger mu muscle, I guess you call it, on the f f f underneath the fingerprints. Okay, the, the, when I grab something like, like with my, uh, for instance, my um, e-cigarette here, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm more surely holding it onto it w with the, the same amount of effort. There's more muscle control in those fingers because of the Esteto XR drug for the tardive dyskinesia. So is this if you're picking up sound tonight or am I doing this in vain or what is this? Uh, so so uh, well, that makes a difference. Why would I hardly move the microphone at all? I'm befuddled by things. I'm, I'm terribly befuddled by things in life. Uh, that's nice. That's not what I want to happen. Uh, Okay, so that's fine. So I'm saying that the two-minute mark, uh, that the, the, the getting on the Estetto for the tardive dyskinesia was, was an interesting, as I documented in, in over the last, uh, since Labor Day, the day after I started on it this year in 2023, and Labor Day would be January, or no, no, September 5th or 6th or something like that, I started on it. And, and this is December uh, 7th now, where... Today's the day pot becomes legal after midnight. It's already legal in Ohio now. Uh, it's supposed to be. And they're supposed to be, I was just reading, opening up the medical dispensaries for the public uh, legal supply of uh, pot in Ohio so they can get dispensaries built. Ohio is very innovative. I've noticed being here since 1980. You know, I, I love Ohio because they're not fighting about this pot thing. Like other places would fight left and right and opposite and con uh, insanely fighting like kids, you know, the politicians in other places. But uh, Ohio, they're working together. The governor's working to satisfy the people. And uh, so they had to change some things in the original bill that was passed or voted on. And I don't understand. Any, I read it, but I forget what I read. But it, it looked fine. But they limited the number of plants to the six per household, no matter how many people. Uh, I didn't think that was right. It should be six per person, up to 12 plants per household, the way they was voted on. I disagree with that aspect of it. But of course, plants can get the size of Christmas trees, too, if you know what you're doing with them. I have no clue how to do that. I mean, there's no room to grow anything in here. No room in this apartment. So forget that shit. But, uh, so anyways... That's not what this is about. The tar it was about the tarp dyskinesia. I was going to show you like I did in the first video, demonstrate with three minutes, four, four, four minute mark, that when I put my hands together, okay, the, the, the tarp dyskinesia is the burning away of the nerves from the fingertips and, and the hands and, and the extremities and the face and, and, and that's where the hair went. The, the nerves are burned out of the hair, the extremities of the head and that's where it had to be where the hair, where the hair loss comes from. They didn't put that two and two together there yet. So um, anyway, I live with it. I don't have to put two and two together. So when I put my fingers together, I, my, I couldn't feel my palms touching each other before. Now I, the nerves are grown back on, turned back on somehow, magically and mystically and magically and miraculously by this magical science of ph magical pharmacology and uh, this medicine, Osteto, I'm on, XR, and uh, so I can feel I can feel the warmth of the other hand through the other hand now, and the skin th th contacting the other skin and the, the other hand. I couldn't feel that before. So that was part of dyskinesia, and, and the involuntary movements. Then you get like that, like that. I'm doing that now, but 
but, but I'm saying you get, you get movements like that though out of control. In, in part of it's late showing up, meaning it shows up after you've taken it for a while and stop taking it. Then the move, involuntary movements, dyskinesia, show, involuntary movements shows up. So uh, it's a very terrible neurological condition to have to live with and be told you have to live with. And I knew about it since 1979, I think, I learned about it in Tampa. Uh, and I was uh, very dismayed by it, disparaged, actually. And it drove and f fueled my whole fury of uh, in fury, uh, in enrathment of uh, hatred for mental health and all they stood for because of tardive dyskinesia. And they covered the fact up because there was no cure for it. But now there's a treatment for it, so they have no reason to cover it up, and they can kiss my ass if I want to talk about it. It's a horrible disease. Neurological condition, I guess it would be actually termed as. And, uh, but as a result of taking an psychotic or two anti or three antidepressants and antimanics and vomiting anti-nausea pills, antipsychotics and antidepressants are the three categories that, that, that cause this type of dyskinesia. And, and there was no cure for it before it was permanent. So that, that was what was infuriating to me about it in the past, decades ago, 1980s, 1970s. And, uh, and, and the ironic thing about it was, it was six minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, so, so the ironic about thing about it was that, that when I, back in Tampa, when I was first diagnosed in, in the early years, first five years, I actually did best on Thorazine, with chlorpromazine, which caused it the most, the damage, you know, but, but I actually functioned the best on it at the time because of all the pot we were doing back in the 70s. The whole town was floating on pot in Tampa in the 70s. They said it was a port city. What do you expect? You know, so uh, we all, everybody knew what we were doing and nobody said nothing to us back in those days. They did make a big deal about it now or since then. So the, the failed drug war on pot, it was an illegal drug war on pot. It was illegal drug war on pot to start with. If you research the history of it, you'll find that. I'm not going to talk to about it now. I've talked about it elsewhere, written about it, but uh, published my writings too. And they're in the library system in Ohio. If you're in Ohio and you can get my my books out of the library with your own Ohio library card from your own Ohio library, uh, just type my name in there. Uh, <laughs> but. Uh, Schizophrenia and the grip of schizophrenia, schizophrenia is the one book, and then it's withdrawn. Aging and residual schizophrenia is the second book. Uh, different reading, if you like, different reading. But, uh, anyways, uh, so the type of dyskinesia drug, I'd like to stay on it. It's very interesting. It's very, uh, together with my hands, and, or together, now my handwriting has improved a billion percent. If I put a little bit, just a little normal amount of effort into my handwriting, the, the results are so much infinitely uh, legible compared to how they've been for I don't know how many decades. You know, it was crazy. You know, the way this tardive dyskinesia drug writes all these wrongs done to me by the medication and being forced into treatment to take these kind of drugs over the years that I had no control over. When I would take myself off of them in the early years and see the full damage done, because they cover up the damage they do. They mask the damage, the literature says. And so when you stop taking it, you know the involuntary movements start by themselves then, you know. So uh, I did that by myself. But, uh, but, 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 but so, 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 it's a hell of a job to have done to you, you know, but told you how to take these drugs to cause this damage to your nervous system and you learn about it in an early age and you're infuriated naturally and anybody would be you know so that's all i'm saying what fueled my whole paranoid conspiracy theories was the illness itself of paranoid schizophrenia or schizophrenia paranoid type manifest as at the time the way they look at it nowadays but uh it's the residual type now but uh so uh it can change, in other words, now. Schizophrenia is how it's manifest as. But mine was classic paranoid type for a number of years, decades involved. In it. And uh, so that's over with now, and has been for a long time. 29 years was just my anniversary recently. It'll be 29 years at the end of January that I got out and left to myself to, to live my life and make what I, what I will. 
and have with publishing two books and trying to contribute an understanding back to society what the illness does to you. You know, I'm, I'm just trying, uh, this, this type of dyskinesia medicine, I can give you research on, it, 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 the movements may still be slightly there, you, you know, but up for my age too, that's normal too. So, uh, but but it's not like it was before the medication for the tardive dyskinesia, where the movements were out of control and you saw the video. It would be an immense video job. I meant to mention in the last video. I did, did, yeah, and then we're done here. Too immense of a video job for me to undertake to the clip snippets out of videos, you know, to show where my fingers were and how they were doing different dosages on the medication and before the medication entirely. And it would be too much of an undertaking for me even to consider undertake doing that kind of video editing job on all, so many hours worth of videos, you know. So, so I'm glad I want to stay on the Ostetto. Thank you for inventing this and for and APA for letting this be spoken now and not covered up as I can accuse you from things that happened in the 1970s when I found out and mentioned it. You know, so it goes back to Florida. So thank you all for listening and having an interest in this. If you do, I hope you get well with it too. Good day now.